Hi everyone, Gig Coach Jake here, your go-to for gig economy news, tips, and tricks. And this is the update on the Uber Eats pay model change that has been a complete nightmare. Now, first off, let me say that they were very transparent in saying that the base fare was going to be decreased. Now, what I'm hearing is people are seeing half of what they were making before. Now, my question to all of you, they continue to do Uber Eats primarily or even at all, why do you continue to accept these garbage offers and continue to make excuses for this company? We have all known that Uber is a horrible company with zero integrity that cannot be trusted. Look at all the pay cuts they've done to their drivers over the years and as of recent. Some of you have even driven for Uber and you've experienced this yet you continue to work for this company. Now, I'm not here to say you shouldn't work for Uber Uber Eats. I'm just here to give advice, tips, and strategy on how to get around this change. Now, where this is a good thing is the fact that people can see where you're dropping off at the end. Uber Eats should just be a filler to all the other apps. Why? You don't make enough. Yeah, they took away the transparency on the crappy pay they had before, you were making crap per mile and crap per time before anyway. What's the big deal? They're paying a little bit less and they could potentially subsidize trip supplement on some of these offers whenever they want. And then you have the tip. You get the tip after. Those who have been doing it for a while, you should know which merchants have crappy tips and which ones produce good. With that being said, with the incoming offer, you see how much you're making and you already have a great idea what your tip is going to be. Why do you keep accepting these offers. Let me tell you something. If you were to start rejecting all these crap garbage offers like we've been doing on DoorDash and Grubhub for quite some time, this company would be forced to pay you more. Why? Because they really want to compete in this sector. Grubhub doesn't care. That's why they're paying less and continue to trend down. Yet, we still make more on average with Grubhub than any other food delivery company. Not a bad option. Can't say the same for Uber Eats. For those of you that want to continue to use this app, if you want to use it as a full time, that is probably a terrible idea. They've decreased the pay. Now they've set up where they can decrease at any point in time. It is essentially an algorithm where they figure out how much you're going to pay per distance and time, whatever they feel like paying you. Now, if drivers started rejecting a lot more of these offers that they need delivered, they're gonna have to up the ante and pay you more. Whether it be through some type of boost and promos, I don't care. You have the power to force them to pay you fair. Yet, if you keep accepting all this crap and garbage, it will not change and you have only yourself to blame. So quit being pissed off that they made this change. I saw in my comments, someone made the comment that they were gold status and they were able to see that already and they wanted to go back to the same because they were making more money. Well, guess what? Your gold status, you were essentially somewhat of an employee. You had to hit certain criteria to have that status. That is crap. If you're a true independent contractor, there shouldn't be any gold status, no pro, no premier, any of that crap. We should be able to see all the information up front on the contract, including the amount. If you don't agree with the amount, don't accept it. For those of you who think that acceptance rating has any bearing whatsoever, you might want to do a little bit of research. I've been proving this for years now. It's complete crap. I've been proving it from Rideshare and Lyft to all the food delivery companies and beyond. Quit accepting the garbage. You have nobody else to blame but yourself when you do. You can go on social media and all the outlets and complain all you want. It's not going to change anything. When you all start changing your behaviors and actions, that's when things will change. Let's start working as true independent contractors. Hashtag low pay, no way. Quit accepting all this garbage that you're seeing. And guess what? On stacked offers, you will not be able to see the drop off location. This was essentially the old smokescreen approach that a lot of these companies like to use. Let me give you a little bit while I take this away and hope you don't notice. Of course we notice when we're making less money. 
Again, I always say, work smarter. Power's up to you. You can jump on my comments and be pissed at me all you want. I'm just optimistic. I hope for the best. I understand and know that Uber's a crappy company. That's why I wasn't quick to sign up with them and go find out the hard way myself. But I can assure you, had I signed up with them, every garbage offer that came in that made no sense, I would reject in a heartbeat. It better be close. It better pay me enough for the time that it's guesstimated. And if those guesstimates that they have are not accurate over time, then I have less reason to believe and trust this company and to do any deliveries for them. You have Grubhub, DoorDash, Postmates, and even other options in different markets. There's no reason why you should be at the mercy, and I heard that, at the mercy of Uber Eats or Uber. This is your opportunity to take my advice, jump on some of these other apps, to increase your earnings. Yeah, they're paying less. I guarantee there's some offers in there where they are paying a little bit more than they were before. You're gonna have to do some rejecting to find out though. What does that mean? Quit being at the mercy of this company. Go run other apps. This is a perfect thing for those that do run multi apps. Being that they're very fast and efficient, any short, close pickup and drop offs or an ability to make an extra $5, say, within each hour. Say a person's average of $20 an hour with whatever apps they're running and they can add in one Uber Eats delivery an hour for $5. They're now making $25 an hour. That is where this becomes very beneficial based on the fact that we can see the drop off location. Now, for those of you that want to continue to be pissed off about the change and blame all those that wanted to see the drop off location, you truly don't understand what it is to be an independent contractor. That's a great reason why Rideshare is in the place they are. All those drivers wanted to blame the ones that were working smarter and keep working like employees and taking those pay cuts and blaming one another. Instead of the company that was screwing them over. Until now. But yet, people continue to make poor choices and let these companies control their destiny. Be a true independent contractor, work smarter, and hashtag low pay, no way. I hope this little bit of information and tips helped out. If you want some more information and help, jump onto the Patreon group. I have an exclusive networking group on Discourse where we're talking about all this information. We have weekly live video chat discussions. All markets. No obligation, just another resource for those of you that really do care about succeeding and working as true independent contractors. Hope you all have a great day, night, whatever it is. Be safe out there on the road and have fun doing this work. It's up to you. As always, work smarter and hashtag low pay, no way.